have an amazing idea. So I've made this some time ago uh, to make it easier for me to see what state caps lock is on. Um, and the idea of caps lock is actually amazing. It's kind of like a layer. Instead of having to, um, like, let's go to, instead of having to hold shift to write uppercase characters, you just uh, turn on the layer and here you go. Sometimes I need to press multiple hotkeys uh, that use control, for example, and they are on different sides, so it's even more annoying uh, to have to use them a lot. For example, um, in Vim, which is what I'm using since yesterday, control D is scrolling half a page down and control U is scrolling half a page up. That's not really comfortable to do repeatedly, I find. So that's why I made what you see right here. Um, a key that is close to uh, the right control, but is easier to press. Now, every time I press it, it toggles the state of control. So I can uh, press it. And now D and U just by themselves do what control D and control uh, U do. That's very nice, but say I brush over that key. Well, now I'm left in this inconsistent thought of, wait, is control down or up? Did I press that key or not? Which is pretty bad. And well, the reason why I made this in the first place so my idea is to create uh, three hotkeys for control shift and uh, alt maybe even windows and have this thing for them this way uh, whenever i want to use multiple uh, hotkeys that are kind of annoying to press, I can just use those. Now, uh, let's go, bear with me, let's go here. So what I'm going to do here, I want the same exact thing as this. So it's in the same place and all that. For scroll lock, well, technically, I don't actually use it. Um, num lock and caps lock, I have this function. I guess it's in tools, huh? Uh, let's first take this. Vim is kind of strange sometimes. Okay. And let's abstract it away. Go to info. Not that info, but this one. Uh, and uh, let's paste this. Nope, not that. So I access the plus and then I paste it. Boom. Amazing. I guess that indentation kind of works, but I don't like it. So visual to down and then boom, cool. <coughs> okay. Three up. <laughs> You're gonna have to bear with me <laughs> with Vim. I like it very much. Uh, but it can be confusing. Okay, so let's say toggle info. Let's move this. Uh, five up. Oh, five up. 
It makes absolutely no sense that J is down and K is up. That messes me up so much. It makes no sense. Like, I don't get it. All right. And um, let's go up. Mm. T this. A. Okay. Text. And now let's go to four lines down, find a space, delete until closing. Fuck. I love BIM. <laughs> that was bound to happen. That's for sure. Okay. We're done there. And now, uh, I forgot one important thing. This this should return. You know, this should return um, the GUI object, which, by the way, we should change to. Okay, change G toggle info. I like that. Okay. So we return the object of toggle info. Perfect. Now we go to tools. Yes, info is already included in here. So what we're going to do is uh, g sum log equals I already forgot what I named that function. Toggle info with text of what lock a space and a new state word okay perfect so this once again works as it used to be but we have now abstracted away um, the creation of the GUI to make sure we can use it in actually far 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 more places I have uh, let me show you info the usual function um, that does this in the corner of the screen <clears throat> but I want to separate those changing layers and using infos I want those to be different <clears throat> All right. Now let's get to First of all, now I don't actually think that this can be considered a tool. Wouldn't you agree? It's kind of not a tool something else it's kind of miscellaneous so let's uh, cut it go to other and uh, access I guess zero B no that's not it access one P Any day now, access 3p. God damn it. No, not there. Wedge. Okay, so it's 5. Access 5p. Perfect. Okay. Amazing. Now. This actually, like both of these, is actually a method that I implemented. Oh, well, that's great. All right. In that case, I can just use it. 
Um, so DJ, which is kind of cool actually. <laughs> okay, uh, dark mode, and that should work as expected. Perfect. Hmm, so concise. By the way, let me show you. Of course, maybe this will work. Not in this mode. Yeah, not unfortunately. So here it is. Um, there is a way to add properties and methods to built-in objects. And that's how you do it. So the name of the class that you want to add an object to, prototype. So you use like the GUI function to create an object from that class. And uh, now using that prototype, you can do something with it. That might be explained better in my classes video sometime in the future. I'm kind of afraid of making it because it's fucking difficult. <laughs> Um, and you define property, that's the name, and that's the object that has the call property that leads to a function object. And here it is, the function, uh, which you can pass parameters to. Uh, the first one has to be the GUI object, and when you use it as a property, you will have to specify it because you use it, use it as a method. So the only one you can change is the font size. Um, and well, here you go. This is a specialty of beta 7 and above. Uh, if font size is undefined or wasn't passed, it should be 20. It's the same way as uh, saying this, essentially. But I like that notation better. Perfect. A bunch of useless blabbering is done. Now, let's go to other and uh, create it, create the function. Okay, so what is it going to be called? Actually, it's going to be hot. Well, first of all, we can kind of just use this. Sure, I don't like absolute, but I made sure it's in the best place and I like it very much. So I'm just going to use absolute there. Okay. The most difficult part of programming is naming things. And right now it's acting up. Okay. Let's name it toggle modifier. Pass modifier name and that's all we need oh wait hold on that's going to be more annoying than I thought because I either create three separate functions for each modifier or what kind of magic would I even use? Hmm. I mean, no, definitely we can do something with this. Um, hmm. I'm seeing a switch as the worst solution for now. So we already have a bad solution, but a solution nonetheless. Um, okay. While I don't like it, um, we can do that. Okay, so we need three statics, essentially. No, not that. <clears throat> okay, static. State. 
false. Okay. Con okay, control state. Shift state. And uh, alt state. Let's select. No, not like that. Select line. Two up. By rejects. Boom. Perfect. I'm making my setup more and more complicated as time goes on. It's it's honestly kind of stupid. Now, sorry for leaving you in the dark. What I'm doing, let me explain. Um, so first of all, every state starts out uh, being false, naturally. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, do it up. But, so the state of each key is different. Like, the usual method would be just two possible states. Every time we call the function, no matter uh, the modifier, it's either up, or, up or down. Uh, let me show you an explanation in text. So say first we do a toggle for shift. Now shift is up. Um, now I do a toggle for control. And now control is down? What? Because we only have two states. And although the key we're sending changed, the state didn't. Uh, okay, now I want sh shift again. Well, shit, it's shift up again. Uh, which is not what I want. Oh, by the way, up and down should be reverted, but it's exactly the same idea. Um, okay. So that's why we have three static variables for each state. I should probably add Windows 2, but I'm not entirely sure why I'm going to use it. I guess there is a reason because I have hotkeys for emojis um, that I use with windows so we might as well um, do that static win state false cool now we create a switch Why did I do that? Switch modifier name. Is that the syntax? Yeah, yeah. Case. Uh, well, hold on. We can make this more efficient. We need four new lines. Okay, let's delete three. Go up to the end of the line. Okay, so four new lines. Mm -hmm. Case state. Wait. Oh, no. Case, it's going to be the name of the modifier key mm -hmm. now i'm being confused but what i by what i want to do so we switch the modifier name oh i see it's kind of like 
<laughs> Mechanical engineering? What are you saying, Axel Fubler? You might get where I'm coming from. Or not. We'll see. Let's write out the details for now. So, control. Um, okay. Find this. Shift. Shift. Mm -hmm. Down. No, not find it. Find backwards this. I. Alt. Down. I can see that I'm going to become faster than I used to be. That's for sure. But for now, it's kind of. It's kind of rough. Understandably so. Okay. Now. We change. the state to the opposite of state. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go to in. That's not what I wanted. It should be this. Okay. Let's go to insert mode. Boom, boom. Oh, Vim kind of breaks that. Hmm. What if I go here? Well, now I'm in on different letters. It doesn't work. Okay, let's try this again to see how I can make it work. Okay, let's go for left. Okay. I want to, can I insert? I cannot, which is really annoying. That, that doesn't work even if I'm, fuck. How do I do this thing that I'm so used to doing? I want to place multiple cursors and then uh, start typing there. Hmm. Change doesn't do what I want. At least not really. On the other hand, change works. Okay, let's go boom, boom, or boom. I guess that kind of works. Hold on, let's undo that. Insert mode, boom, boom. Uh, back. Okay, that's also a bad. Okay, let's try again. Back a word. So essentially, we lose the letter with change. What else do we have? A doesn't work. There's probably a way to do this, and any Vim experts, if you're watching, please help me out. Because this is rough. Okay, let's go with change for now. Okay, so control state is now not control state. Um, and... We send so first this 
without that. If control states is true, meaning it should first be down, down, else, up. I'm already seeing that this could be optimized optimized for dryness. And then we, oh, hold on. It's going to be better if we do this. Um, boom, 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 boom. Hide this. OK. Let's go here and here. And we add this. OK. So, uh-huh. That should be good. Except control. Yeah, I'm seeing how this can be converted into a map eventually. Let's find until comma and yank until the end of the line go down, boom, boom, back, change. There's probably a smart way to do this. I've heard that if you are, ever have a question of uh, can you do this in Vim, the answer is yes. And that sounds very... Change also gets it to the buffer. I don't really get how buffers work yet. Uh, reg zero. Oh, right, because the zero register is the one you specifically yanked, not counting or the all the deletions and the like. So. A less efficient method, but maybe a more consistent one would be whenever I want to cut something is to first yank it, then use the hotkey, the Vim hotkey, to bring back the highlightation, that's not a word, and then delete it. And when I want to paste it, uh, double quote zero P. Okay, I like that. Perfect. Now let's go to, let's find C. And again, uh, delete word. I, okay. I'm understanding more and more as I go on. I'll accept, uh, does not control. Okay, delete for left or other right. By the way, why the why is it H J K L and not J K L colon? Shit makes no sense sometimes. Vim, surprisingly enough, usually makes sense. I was surprised by that. But sometimes it's really just stupid. Back C, okay. I'm getting faster at that. This might either be a promotional message for Vim or not. <laughs> Decide for yourself. Okay, control. Um, select three left. Change. Oh, I should have changed the selection because that's what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Actually, let's do exactly that. What are you doing, Axel Fulber? This is not interesting content. Well, exactly. This channel is essentially pretty much just for me. Uh, when I record something, for some reason it's more fun. 
and in case for some odd reason uh, you're either like me or I don't know are interested in watching programming content or whatever other reason you have well here you go okay so select we left then this change win fuck bro <laughs> i now see why vim has a high ceiling because this potentially can be so fucking fast but also at first it's fucking annoying and while I've been programming that I almost forgot what the fuck we're doing so we pass um, the modifier name and this doesn't have to be um, really doesn't have to be a switch it could just be a map very very easily and will be so eventually probably not in this video the semantics aren't really that important it's gonna be pretty much uh, exactly the same in terms of speed I just like maps far more than I do sw switches because of their efficiency and a static map will well, always be better than a switch maybe not in terms of readability but still okay so now we have toggle modifier uh, let's go to this file I guess to line 15 and create a hotkey shift alt m to toggle modifier control well shift will be easier to test Hmm, wait, I forgot an important part. The fact that we have a GUI. Right. One down, new line, another new line. Boom, boom. Um, now. So we need toggle info. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> oh that's mm. because essentially what we need is this again. Oh wait, no. Actually, this is not as scary as I, as I thought. Um, so, nope. So, select, then this. But then this, this, okay. I really like how my previous um, hotkeys work. So change, boom, much better now. Boom, fog, that just kind of became unreadable all of a sudden. So now toggle info. Yeah, there's so much space to make it more efficient. Well, usually when you program, you make a mock-up version and then you go ahead to make it better. So it's all right. Um, so we 
toggle info and show and now comes the part where we take this uh, okay this change One day I'll get it. Oh, I see. Ah. Okay, now let's access the actual register. What the fuck? Okay, say I actually yank this, and now word change ship, boom, 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 uh, access this, boom, perfect, now change. What is happening? Well, now I works. How does that work? I don't get it. So now we show it at those coordinates. Yeah, this is like pretty bad in terms of how code is structured, but this can be made far better. It's essentially an exercise for me in Vim more than anything. Now, we're almost done. So we need control, yeah, the space, and then um, V Yank this downward. Let's find and this boom 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 X. Okay, couple or a a a couple of more to go. Fuck, now I get it. People say that Vim is torture. I disagree still, but I seek how it can be annoying. Select. Oh. Uh, including. Oh, that's much better. Okay. Go down. like this. Okay, okay, perfect. So let's do it again. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, even yank until boom. And I just did, I'm pretty sure. Boom. Ah, fuck, this is nice. Vim is fun. Just like BDSM is fun. Yank and including boom, 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 paste. Whew. Whew. Okay, let's leave a couple of lines that we don't need. Uh, yeah, this is unreadable, I'm sure. This should be a constant variable, or rather static that doesn't change. This should have been uh, a variable here. Uh, this whole thing should have been a static map. A lot of should have been that will be fixed. Basically, what I'm saying is, don't code like don't code like this. 
Okay. Hmm. I want to select it. No. And go. No. It still doesn't work. Basically, I want to go through quotes. Uh, this works, I guess. But going down a couple of lines and finding it would be more efficient. That's good to know. Alt, um, three down. Oh, sure. Sure. <laughs> Started speaking in Russian. God damn, bro. Okay, that should actually be it overall. Uh, so we're going to test that. In this file, shift. And let's check what other key I have. Well, okay. Oh, and N. Wait, this is so outdated. Yeah, both of those don't exist anymore. So N is taken for testing, M is not, and comma, or rather, yeah, 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 comma is also untaken, so we can use that. We can yank the line and paste it. Whether or not that's more efficient than, no, I guess it is, than moving over to the arrow keys. And then let's replace it with comma. Perfect. Now let's find this. Uh, change board. And uh, this will be. I don't know. Alt. No, control. Boom. I forgot a space. Let's go and fix that. Oh, no. <laughs> now I'll actually know. It's pretty easy to see where I made a mistake. But at first, it was like, holy shit, how the fuck am I supposed to? Um, no where to change what, because my code is that unreadable. Oh, I forgot a very important thing to delete the GUI. Also, I forgot about this. Mm. Okay. Let's go to the end of the word and boom. Okay. I wonder how long the recording is already at this point. Holy shit, 44 minutes. Well, 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 all right. We forgot very something very very important we forgot to um, make the GUI disappear after a while so let's change that boom 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 boom
Let's just call it GUI object. Or no, toggle object. Mm -hmm. And now, we want to set timer. Toggle toggle object destroy in a second. Mm -hmm. That should do it. So now, boom. What? Huh? Wait, am I crazy? Toggle object is returned by toggle info, which returns the object as needed. Huh? Okay. Does dark mode return what I want? Yes, the GUI object. I'm beyond confused right now why that would happen. It said it was a string. It's definitely not. <gasps> My bad. Because show. Pretty sure show doesn't return anything. No, show. Mm. What does it return? Oh, <laughs> why would we need that information? All right. Yeah, but it's probably because show doesn't actually return uh, what we expect it to. change and then toggle object mm -hmm. okay that should do it or rather let's restart the test file okay it works at least in theory But not in practice. Perfect. I love that. Woohoo! At least shift doesn't work. Which kind of sucks. Let's check. Let's go to keyboard uh, and check control. Control works? Huh. And now neither work. My bad. One important, one important thing that I didn't take care of. Uh, wait, no. They shouldn't be affected. Wait, hold on. That's so strange. Actually, no, it isn't. Fuck, I'm fucked. <laughs> yeah, that is totally my bad.
now I'm stuck with control and shift probably on how do we get out of this situation yeah nothing fucking works let's go I mean, how do you? I have one way for starting the computer, <laughs> but there's probably some other way wait what if i just click the actual keys oh it worked okay let's have a way of dealing with this so it doesn't happen again when we start out we will make sure that all of the keys are down Shift down and uh, wind down. Oh, that does. Sure. Okay. Wind down and uh, alt down. Boom. This way, if I reload my script, I can make sure that this bullshit doesn't fuck anything over it's not what I want, where I want it to be wait oh no I said down when I really meant up Keys. Um, up. Now that's what I wanted. <laughs> okay. Control. Chill out, I don't care. Okay. Let's reload them both. Now, shift is down. And it still doesn't work, which is interesting. Actually, no, it's not interesting at all because I am holding down shift for both of these hotkeys. Well, no shit. Okay, in this case, let's make them what I actually want them to be. It's going to be caps lock and for shift is going to be I and uh, for control, it's going to be U feels good and O for Alt. Okay, so it's going to be U. Boom. Control I, shift is down and it works. Shift is up. Wait. Down, up. Down. Okay, let me explain why that matters at all. 
because now, first of all, I pressed enter without anything else and it made, the, made a line up. I have a hotkey where shift enter makes a line up. How useful is that is? I don't know, but it sure as hell has a high skill ceiling, meaning it could potentially be incredibly useful. But let me just type numbers without any modifiers. You see now how amazing this can potentially be. I mean, don't get me wrong, maybe, maybe it's not going to be that useful. But maybe it will be. Well, okay. And let's check control. Or do we need a bigger file for that? Up, 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 up. No, 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 no. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Perfect. Okay. Finally, we're done after many trials and tribulations and learning them. <sighs> Thank you for sticking for this long of a time, if you did. I am not sure why, but if you enjoyed this, I am glad. Goodbye.